welcome back to my channel. And today I'm doing a fun thing with my friend about like, should I buy this horse or not? So we're gonna start with Sparky. And I am in the center of the arena. I'm going Where to be her instructor. Where are you? Um, I don't know. Why am I not showing up on your screen? Okay, so we're gonna. Oh, it's because I'm not riding. Yeah, get, you should get back on your horse. So I'm gonna actually be. Oh, there you are. Never mind. Oh, I see you running. Okay. Am I in front of you? Yes. Okay. Okay. Why am I supposed to say I'm in a cloth? Uh, that's so weird. Okay, never mind. Um, anyways, so let's start with Sparky. So, I, tell me about Sparky. So, from, so, um, uh, Marley is trying to sell him to you, and from his papers it says that he is a 10 year old Appaloosa. He's about. 15 hands high, I think. Um, and he does not have much experience in anything. He was try They tried to make him be a lesson horse, but he just wasn't. Yeah, see, he was a little bit too crazy. And then they tried to barrel him, and he just couldn't really do that. So, whoa, easy boy. Whoa, he seems a little bit frisky, probably because it's really windy out today. Mm -hmm. So why don't we just ride around and see if he can um, work? Because we do need a horse that can ride in the wind. Let's see. Uh, is he good at trotting? He has a nice little trot. It's good for Western, but I feel like you could also do some English with him. Whoa, he's just breaking into cameras. Easy boy. Whoa, he keeps galloping off. That's not very good. And you said he's 10, right? He's 10, so he should have the proper training to know not to do that. I don't think I'm ever going to look at, if he's not like a good horse, I don't think I'm ever going to look at horses from Marley again. He's not a very good trainer. Yeah, I think he just kind of gets horses and then just sells them off for way overpriced. Mhm. Mm um, someone else. Um, well, he has a f he has a barn with his brother, and his brother, um, Steve, has some very nice horses in there. If you want to put him away and go back and get some other horses, sure. Why don't you go um look and see which ones? Whoa, he's like. a boy. He didn't make that jump. Oh, he cannot a jumper. That's for sure. I'm kind of looking for a fancy dressage jumper horse. Yeah, something you can do a little bit of everything with. Alright, let's go up this ramp and Ooh. see what horses are in here. Okay, so then you can just choose any single one you want and then we'll come and look at it. Just leave him in the entrance. Marley said he'll take care of him. They have some stable hands. Oh, well, that horse is painted pretty. Oh, wow. Um, I think I'm going to go with this Clydesdale. Oh, so do you want to use him for lessons or just riding? Just riding. Let's just test him out. Let's just test him out and see what So, it, it, his name is Griffin, right? Because that's what it says about his stall. Yeah, it says on his stall, Griffin. Steve has some nice horses. This guy is so cute. Yeah, I think Marley is hopefully, the more crazy one that just doesn't train. Hopefully his attitude is better than his, his cuteness. Yeah, he seems he seems a little sluggish to be honest. A little slow. <laughs> uh, so how old is he? he what a is, nice scanner. Oh yeah, he's very nice. Um, I think he's around 17 years old. So a little bit um, older than the Appaloosa. And he's very tall, as you can see. Yeah. So probably more like 17 or 18 years old. Oh wow, this is a gorgeous scanner. Look at it. It's pretty, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to jump well with it. Yeah, he he doesn't. He seems like a cart puller. Mm. He might be able to jump these little fences, but uh, I don't think he'll jump big. As you can see, he has very small jump, and you can see it's a little bit hard for him. But he seems like a fun horse, uh, and he's super sweet. He's so sweet. I feel like he'd be better set for like a kid, you know, because you're super experienced at riding. Hey, boy. Oh, you're cute. But he's very handsome. Yeah. Just more in a cute way. Do you want to go grab another horse? Sure. But do you recommend any good horses? Um, well, why don't you, uh, like, FaceTime me in the barn and then I'll say. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, I hear my phone ringing. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. So, you can probably just leave him in the entrance. Yeah, that works. Perfect. Yeah. They're coming to come back from. So let's look around. Um, how high? How tall do you think you want? Um, pretty a decent size. Okay, so. Oh wow, that's some amazing paint jobs for Halloween. Oh my gosh, maybe not that horse though, because you want to compete. So what about that paint? That um. 
Oh, I don't do Western. Yeah, no, maybe not the horse then. Uh, we'll try out a lot of horses, even if you find one that you really like. Maybe go down the other aisle. Yeah, that one. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I like that one. This one? This one. That one seems like he could jump Andrew Bishaj. Yeah. Let's see what he's like. Maybe I should get some tack on him first. Oh, yeah. They have um a cupboard in the back, they told me, that you can feel free to take anything from. Okay, I just need a little... I need a little saddle. Yeah, it'll be, but you can tell, he even let you ride him bareback at first. Yeah, he seems sweet. How about this style? And is he wearing a bridle? No. No, he'll need one. So you can choose, like, any bridle they said. Snad, let me find the Rex Stamper. Here it is. New Bonnie Bridle. Ooh, very nice. Okay, there we go. He looks like a fancy little dressage horse. He does, I feel like, but he has very powerful, um, from what I can tell online. He has a very powerful notches. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now so because you're on your way. Yep, okay. Bye. Bye. Hey boy, what do you say we gallop there? You seem good. Oh my god. This is amazing. You're beautiful. So is his is his name Midnight, right? Yeah, his name is Midnight. His um, papers say Arctic Hollow, but they say they call him Midnight in general. Um, he is like 16.3 or 17 hands high, so he's a bit more on the big side, and they said he's good at jumping. He has a lot of experience, and he's only 11 years old, so he's still in his prime. And he, and he did do some cart pulling, like carriage pulling and stuff before, right? He's done some carriage pulling, but he's mainly done a lot of dressage. So, like, he started off as a dressage horse, and then he was bought by, like, a family who used him to pull their cart, but he was sold after a year because he had too much potential. He did about, and then he did a little bit of jumping for about a year and a half, and then he went back to dressage. So he can really do anything. Wow, he is good. Look at that canter pirouette. Oh, wow, he's really good at dressage. You can tell I think he's best at dressage, but he's also really good at jumping. I'm going to test him by jumping over this a couple times. That was nice. And he jumped, like, really well. And he doesn't care that it's windy. He's so well trained. Mm -hmm. And who who um trained this horse? Um, I don't know. Steve just bought him to sell him. So I think he was, he was trained by... Well, he was once owned by the Baroness when he was born. He was bred by the mm -hmm. Baroness. And then he was sold to, I think, the Goldspurs to use as a carriage horse. And then... I, and he got he got training from the best trainers around Oh wow! You know, and then he was sold to some other person that I don't really know, and then he was kind of sold back to you. Oh nice. So, so do you think this is a horse you want to buy? Um. Okay, but no, I don't think this horse is the right horse for me. He's he, really amazing, but he's like super expensive, and I think he's for an Olympic. How much artist. is he? He's closer to a million dollars. Oh he, wow! He's he's guaranteed to go to the Olympics soon. Oh. So I think um, an Olympian will come he, by him soon. No, oh, I was gonna. I'm. I guess I'm gonna stick to like a cheaper horse. Maybe. I the highest I'll pay is probably sixteen thousand for a horse. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try this horse, King. He seems really sweet. Oh, and he's a very nice Arabian. Um, let me. How much is he? Let me get out my papers. They want him. They want like thirteen thousand for him, which isn't too much, but is. Yeah, that's a good price. He's trained, right? He's um eight years old, so yeah. he's in his prime. Maybe a little young. He's had a lot of training. He wasn't owned by the Baroness, but. He has been owned by many reputable people. Mm. For the first four years of his life, he lived on a training farm where a lot of the best horses are trained, and then he was sold to a person who kind of rode him on and off, and then he was sold to Steve to sell to someone else. Maybe us. Yeah. He's really good at jumping and dressage. He's equally good at them. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> I really like him. He has a great confirmation and no health issues. He has a beautiful gait. It's like not too forward, not too fast, but not too slow. And, and does he do show drumming and dressage, you said? Yes, equally well. 
Oh wow, that's perfect for me then. Mm -hmm. How, and you said he's only thirteen thousand. Only thirteen thousand. Because could I make it? Could I make it twelve thousand or yeah? For the 10? past four years of his life, he's only been ridden like once a week. But he's so he had such intense training for the first four years of his life. Does he do anything special? Yes. Try using your leg aids. Yes. See, he does walk on his hind legs. Oh wow, that's just perfect for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what do you think about him? I think he's great. So, I don't think we have enough money for the Olympic level horse. I mean, I do, but then it would be. Then we wouldn't have a lot of money left. Yeah. So, which horse do you think we I would go at a big tech company up in Yorick City. Oh, yeah. I, I work as a trainer, so. So, I probably could buy him, but you know, I think I like King the best. He is so nice. He is, a, he is a lot better, just, he has a good attitude, you know? Yeah, he's perfect. He's perfect. And you said no one actually really calls him king? No. Sometimes. Uh, I forget what his nickname is, do you remember? No. No. Well, he's still, he is a king, he's beautiful. It might be Red or Ranger. Oh know. yeah, probably Ranger. We'll ask Steve. So do you want to buy him? Yeah, of course. Let me go, or Steve. I'm not sure. He's always wandering around somewhere. Oh, okay. He? At last, I seen him by the um, tree over there. But oh, there you are, Steve. Hello. Hello, Miss B. Talik. What do you want today? Well, you see, is it, I would like to buy this horse named King or nickname Ranger Red. Um, and I really like him. And I think he's perfect for me. Okay. Okay then. So why don't you take him back to your stable and okay. just cut me a check later? Because that's you. Huh. You know what? Never mind. No one even tries to buy this horse. He's free. Mm -hmm. Really? He's really bad. Okay. Thank you. Are you sure? And you know what? Here's your check, anyways. Yeah. Too we bad. don't want to just take it for free. Yeah, because I'm sure you'll probably be like, oh no. The police, this person stole my horse. So yeah. here's your check for twelve thousand, right? Um, yes, yes. There you go. Thank you. Bye. Uh -huh.